This is your March 2021 energy update. Some of the themes are elements of the now earth in the new earth. Many of these conversations are very synchronistic at this time and in the field of telepathy. Other themes, unwavering strength and radical resilience. Unique abilities, integration of heaven above and the earth below. Many are having ancestral dreaming, fantasy and folklore. And join me every Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for a free, safe group for all empath sensitives and light workers. I'm Christine, your spiritual medium, intuitive energy coach, old soul healer, and soul's purpose mentor. If you love this, please share, please like, please subscribe below, leave a comment, and of course, book a one-on-one session at any time. Healing begins where the ego ends. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Yes, it is March 1st. I cannot believe we are in March, and uh, neither can Teddy. Come on in, guys. Say hello, and uh, yeah, let us know how you're feeling about March. Now, if you don't know, I do these monthly energy updates. It basically just getting a feel for, you know, what's going to transpire over the month, the overall energy, how we're feeling mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, um, even financially, (laughs) and with relationships as well. And uh, yes, if you'd like to book a session, one-on-one session with me, please contact me, uh, send out an email or whatever, you know, just reach out. Um, Really, that's what it's all about. So let's just get into this and stop talking, right? All right. (laughs) So yeah, the overall um, theme is the power of love. And that's all we're here to do is love. And we are pure love. And once we figure that out, you know, put that into the field of our consciousness, it, you know, it spreads out to the rest of the world. So Yeah, so, you know, the first um, theme is unwavering, Um, you know, our, I think, you know, I feel we're definitely more integrated. Um, We've got our feet planted firmly. um, And it is all about um, our power, our own innate power, and unfolding elements of the now earth in the new earth. Now I know we talked about that pre, you know, uh, 2021, mainly November, December was being thrown around a lot about the new earth. And a lot of us like, well, I don't know what that means. And it just seems so outside of us. But now we have done a lot of work, we are integrating the unfolding elements of the new earth in the now earth. So we're dismantling fear, you know, where are we going? we're rebuilding, but we have to do our own work. And that means feeling through the physical body, the physicality, Um, get out of stalemate and, and stop telling yourself you don't trust, or you're scared. Yes, you're scared, but you're going to do it. You're not going to let fear run this ship, right? And you're not trusting. It's not about the outer conditions. Um, the extremes, the outside, unground us. So we've got to find our inner balance, our, you know, watching where that pendulum swings out, right? So we definitely have to work on our energy. um, And I do talk about that all the time. In fact, I have a podcast all about that because that was my story, um, realizing the, the innate power Um, that you have in your own love for self and then radiating that out to others and doing the healing that's needed. So if something comes up, 
you're triggered or you're feeling overwhelmed or you're in fear, whatever it happens to be, just feel that. Like if you're not feeling a 10, let's say, if we're going to put numbers out there and you're a four, then just recognize that and see where it's coming from. And it might just be that particular day. It doesn't mean it's happening every day, right? All right. Um, and with that, I have pulled five cards to go with the five themes for the uh, monthly energy. And it's coming from the crystal reading card deck. Yes. All right. And the first card um, having to do with unfolding elements in the now earth is all about the Melakite. Uh, Melakite for healing. And we all know that healing is in layers and we're definitely doing layers and levels. However you want to, you know, peeling back um, the layers uh, of ourselves, peeling back of what we know, peeling back and knowing that this is not our story anymore. This is not who we are. And it has to do with all the chakras. And apparently this is the most potent physical healing stone in the crystal kingdom. So hitting all, everything at 360 degrees, every level, every level. And just some highlights of this card Deep physical healing penetrates all levels of your being and promotes overall healing, assists in healing bones, bruises, and physical disease, opens and expands the heart chakra, allowing the power of love, wow, okay, to dissolve deeply held resentment and sadness, eases deep heartache. So just be loving, be patient with yourself as you embark on this powerful journey. Let go of the old ways and let the light of healing, it's consciousness. Consciousness. Are you conscious of what's going on? And letting go and giving it out to consciousness. All right, so that is card one for theme one. And let me know if any of this, you know, is is resonating. If you have questions, comment below, please like and share, subscribe, do all that good stuff to support me to support us. Um, because really, it's it's about us. We're together in all of this, you may feel that you're not. But just know that we're in this together. Okay. We're in this together. All right, theme number two, unwavering strength and radical. <laughs> Heard this word a lot, radical. Everything is radical. Radical resilience. Yes, we are so resilient. Um, more than we give ourselves credit for. And we tend to give our power away to people, places, and things that do not deserve our attention. We tend to give our power away to people, places, and things that do not deserve. Do not deserve. You deserve to give that to yourself. To yourself. Unification in March. So, you know, we had that dreamy Pisces. We just had that beautiful full moon. And now, you know, in the second half of March, it's moving into fiery Aries. Fire. So we're going from woo-woo fish water to woo-woo <laughs> into fiery Aries, you know, channeling that inner lion, um, social injustices. I can get through this, you know, what's making me feel insecure, but we're disassembling, everything's disassembling and unmantling. We've heard this and you're looking around and, and the more you look, the, the more rabbit holes you go into and then you... You start telling yourself some old story that you've heard. No, don't go there. Roadblock. You turn, turn around because it's all rebuilding. We just have to be patient, patient, patient and trust. Um, and we don't have to see things the same way. And the sun is our life force energy. And the days are becoming lighter and longer we are close to spring, right? Um, so this is all about our identity, our global identity shift and how we can work those muscles <laughs> to
to build the resilience. And that starts with the self-love, self-care practice. Get back into the habit of meditation. I've been talking to a lot of clients about this, that they have fallen out of it, fallen out of things that have kept them strong and resilient and being more of the peaceful presence and love that they want to see in the world. So, you know, I, I just, uh, I had a 55 minute yoga practice. Normally my yoga is about 30 minutes, but today I took it to the next level because I felt it was, it was needed. So I did it. So I did it anyways. <laughs> and that, and that's really, you know, what, um, you know, we're talking about and going to pull card number two. Uh, yeah, the croquite. It's all about our sexuality. I think of the sacral chakra when I see this. Now, you know, this looks red on camera, but it is vibrant orange. It's hard to tell. And this, apparently this crystal is only found in Tasmania, Australia. I did not know that. So it is about life force energy. And when you get into co-creation, creative aspects, creating, that's why we're here. That is our purpose, to create, to be in the imagination. That is the freedom of any traumas attached to our sexuality, to our inner child. It activates the kundalini. It invokes deep sexual life force energy, connections to sensuality, enhances the tantric union, assists in creating, you know, expressing our creative aspects. So maybe we're healing old perceptions. We were just talking about this, wounds, judgments. You know, once you relief, release and relieve yourself of negative beliefs and restrictions, you can break free of social constraints. All the stuff, you know, that you're honoring yourself as divine and sacred sexual being. Um, maybe seek support and guidance of a professional work with the magical medicine of this. It's time to set yourself free and dance in that creative energy because that's who you are. That is who you are. Yeah. And it's time. Yeah. It's time for yourself to step forward and say, no moss, no more. It stops here with me. And you're so worth it. And you deserve it. All right, that's card two. <laughs> Let's get to theme three. Unique abilities and co-creation is just very high. It's off the charts. I'm getting, I don't know about you, but I have to carry my notebook everywhere, even when I go for walks, especially when I'm walking in nature. Connecting to nature is your quickest way to connecting to self, to source to consciousness. Um, and it really removes a lot of the blocks and fears and not, you know, the negative thinking, um, the anxiety, depression, whatever it is, um, you're, you're giving back to mother earth and then therefore you can give back to her as well when you're out in nature. So, um, yeah, this is unique, uh, definitely business and finances, new creations, new ideas, um, UFOs. <laughs> yes, I said it. I seen a couple um, yesterday, no, a couple days ago when I was out. So they're there. They like to hide amongst the mountains and the clouds, but definitely the clouds. So look beyond the mainstream here and see and have discernment, deciding for yourself, not letting others do it for you, not being influenced, not being shamed into something good news. There's great news coming. Help is coming. People are coming out of the woodwork, new ventures, new partners, new financial prosperity, money coming in, right? Community. Look at the big picture. Security is there. Security is you already telling yourself that you are secure and that you are prosperous and abundant naturally because that is what God is. So therefore, I am. Do you see how this works? It's a direct connection and correlation. 
You're, you're beautiful just the way you are. Just the way you are. And if you want to enhance those abilities, then find your uniqueness. Because everybody, I, I, I had seen a, a picture of a tree, um, the fingerprint of a tree and the fingerprint of a human, quite similar. Very interesting. So really tying back to this nature aspect again. Um, yeah, so this is all about healthy boundaries, healthy boundaries. I'm just going to take this banner down here. Um, healthy boundaries, red jasper. So when we're talking about our unique abilities and our co-creation being, you know, very, very high, that is tied to us having boundaries for our time, boundaries for people coming in, taking up our time, uh, especially if you feel, yeah, they're saying these people keep circling back. It's almost like they're taking a bite out of you or a hit. Because, oh man, I just heard they're too lazy to do it themselves. Oh boy. Okay. Um, so this is all about the root chakra. This is protection, purification to facilitate a deeper connection to the earth. Sacred stone is used in ceremonies. It draws the Mother Earth's healing energy up to the body, setting healthy boundaries. No is a complete sentence. Assist in overcoming deep-seated fear of abandonment. So you've got to master the process of setting those boundaries. You are a generous, loving soul who provides healing and support to many people. And the divas are urging you to honor your own needs first. So you have to know and be aware of your own and others' boundaries, remembering it's your responsibility to take care of your own needs. Who? So when you create these, you will have a deep healing of self on many levels. It brings energy and awareness back to the heart, come from a place of love and clarity, and encourages loving, nurturing, fulfilling relationships. Naturally, that'll cycle in once you've established your boundaries and the love and the peace and the joy and the health for yourself. Definitely. And you are so unique. You are, nobody has your fingerprint. You were made on God's premise and promise of love. Premise and promise of love. Oh, that's interesting how that came in. All right. <laughs> uh, number four, integration of heaven above and earth below, meeting here in the heart, the soul, bringing them, tying them together. When I do a lot of healing uh, or meditations in, in groups or with individuals, I tie in the earth below to the heaven above, anchoring in Christ consciousness, bringing all of that down. It's like a lightning rod. Boom, activates the soul the heart chakra. That's where you're leading from. That's where you're leading from. So it is an integration and it takes time and practice. All right. Um, so you cannot escape chaos. Uh, it's everywhere. It's you're, you're, you got to learn how to stand your ground and your primary purpose is to be in higher consciousness while grounded and rooted in your sense of security. So, um, more getting outside more moving out moving celebrations and restrictions lifted so you know i'm not, i don't make predictions but then you know i feel things are moving outside more whatever that means to you having access to others being around others surrounding yourself with others connecting more in person that's, <laughs> and hey, I'm all for that. Um, I've been, I'm sure I'm not the only one that's been thinking that, like, isn't it time? Isn't it time? I feel it's time, but that's just me. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. So the integration of why would I want to integrate heaven and earth and bring it here and, and be the epitome of heaven on earth. Dioptase, heart healing, beautiful colors on this card. Um, I love the blues and 
I love the blues. Who doesn't love the blues? I'm, we were talking about songs. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's asking all about our heart, the heart chakra. Th this is emerald green. When I look at this, I see blue. But maybe you guys see the green in this. All right. So, yeah, this is one of the most powerful heart healing crystals in the planet. It penetrates deep into the inner chambers of the heart, transmuting. This is all about wounds and healing ourselves. The inside out. Yes. You're blessedly free. You're blessedly free. It heals the inner realms of the heart and enhances openness, transmutes and heals emotional pain and old wounds, allows you to release and dissolve sadness in your life, lets down the walls of anger, bitterness, resistance, embracing love and connection. So it is now time for you to come back to your heart center as you experience the sacred time of heart healing and transformation. That is your transportation to <laughs> heaven and earth below. Isn't that interesting? So they're saying to spend more time in nature by the sea, nurture, support. I know when I'm done this, I'm heading to the sea. It's like a, it's vitamin C for the soul. Get out into the parks. Even if it's, you're in really cold, snowy weather, just get out, get out. You know, as, as Billy Ocean would say, get out of my head, get into my car. Yes, or get out of my mind, whatever it is. <laughs> Anyways, I just think of that song. So yes, um, heart healing. All right, last but not least, this one I love so much. Dreaming of ancestors, folklore, and fantasy. So you ever notice your, you know, things are coming up from your childhood, memories, movies, whatever, songs, people, just it's all flooding back and, and even some of your past lives being very drawn to maybe like, you know, the, the princess type movies or the knights or the Excalibur or Lord of the Rings, whatever it is, unicorns, right? Whatever's coming up, mermaids, the elementals, the fairies, all of that. The fae, we're really going back to the, you know, to our earth, Mother Earth, to where we started out. All right, where's my last card? <laughs> oh, no, I got to read the book first. <laughs> Jeez, I got to read my notes. <laughs> um, our channelings here. So yeah, dreamy, your dreams, higher consciousness, move through grief, the fears, the insecurity, reach for the stars and go beyond. Um, yeah, so it's all of us um, are in this beautiful and be, be addicted to good, right? To miracles, to God, to consciousness, to fun, to fol folklore, to fantasy. It is not silly. You, there is no uh, expiration date on age, meaning I know I remember I used to love Barbies and I remember someone saying, oh, aren't you too old to play with those? See, that kind of crap has got to stop. Never too old to have fun, to play. Don't forget that. That is who, that is your innate nature. And that is why it is taking so long for many of us to heal because those programs, those, that crap, those labels systemically, it's those, we got to get down to the root and really dig that weed out and then take that weed and put it in the compost because it's going to be used for something else and time to really plant those seeds and making sure those seeds are um, integral integrity, have good foundation. Last card, Tanzanite, clarity, third eye. <laughs> Obviously, if you're dreaming and fantasies, it's, it's a deep sense of clarity um, into your psyche, your awakening intuition, your spiritual sight on a very deep level. Placing this crystal on your third eye, whew, pretty powerful potent, you are going to have to see clear and have a sense of clarity in your world. Open up to your spiritual wisdom, sharing the knowledge from the heart, it opens and activate activates the third eye chakra, <laughs> um, assists in communication of the higher aspects of self. So deep knowing deep wisdoms, and seeing with clarity, 
So ask that the light transmutes all your confusion. Go into a meditation with this. Meditate with your, your crystals, whatever it is. Clearing, transmuting all your confusion, mind clutter. Feel it moving out of your aura. This is your boundaries as well. Leaving you feeling radiant, cleansed, and clear. Enjoy the clarity that is now manifesting in your life. Wow, that's amazing. I love that. Who so clarity brings a lot of blessings. So you can see deeply into situations and experiences and receive direction, wisdom, and knowledge. But you also need to create those um, boundaries, um, like you know, the deep healing and the you know, healing our our wounds and traumas around sexuality, creating healthy boundaries, the heart healing and the clarity. These, these are the cards that go with the month, that go with the month. <laughs> All right, yes, and please share, like, subscribe, comment um, if you're on the replay as well. I, I do these videos monthly. A um, few housekeeping options here. There is a free Unleash Your Purpose um, a group on Zoom. I wanted to say Zoom Zoom group. <laughs> Every Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's a safe space for all you empaths, light workers, or even if you're mildly curious. Uh, it's about an hour. And as Lynn would say, the best hour she's ever spent every Saturday. So comment soul to sign up or send me an email. All right. As well, Unleash Your Magic Intuitive 101 Mentorship is year round. So comment magic to sign up for that. And I, yeah, you know what? It says two spots left. Not true. I take, um, I take this year round. So year round. And we also have a group as well in the mentorship. So comment mentorship if you're interested in doing that. And last but not least, Power of Healing Your Energy show is live show and podcast Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 Mountain, 6 Eastern, and is also on soundsugarradio.com. All right. I think I've got everything included. <laughs> Please let me know how your month is going. If you're struggling with something, if you need a resource, um, signing up for my newsletter as well. Uh, it is a monthly newsletter. Uh, you might get a one or two in between with events or something, some special workshop or webinar that's going on or teaching that I'm facilitating as well. So, and of course you get a free gift. So head on over to my website. It is a new website, christine.gold. And uh, yes, yeah, still under the 24 karat healing umbrella and follow me where you like on social media. And please have an amazing March. Enjoy, have fun, connect. And uh, please remember, healing begins where the ego ends. Mwah. Love you. Take care.